Hi guys, this is Vineet and in this video we will discuss about uh, how you can view a list of databases present on an instance of SQL Server you are connecting to. So let me take you to SQL Server Management Studio and uh, right now we are connected to the default uh, instance of SQL Server in our machine. Uh, let me disconnect from it and uh, sh show you from the beginning. So this is the name of my server and uh, we are not specifying the instance name because we are connecting to the default instance. So I'm clicking on connect to connect to that instance and let's go back to the nodes. So there are two modes in which we can view databases on the instance of SQL Server. So first mode is you can either uh, view the databases in GUI mode. So let me show you that. So while you are inside SQL Server there is a section for databases. So if you expand that section, you will see a list of databases present over there. So uh, our first database is Northwind and uh, second database is DustDB. These are user databases. And apart from that, we also have some system databases like Master Model MSDB and TempDB. <coughs> we will discuss about these databases in one of our other videos uh, regarding the system databases and each of this database serves a special purpose in SQL Server system and uh, for now uh, in total we have like six databases in our system four are system databases and two are user defined databases now let's go back to the nodes and the other ways uh, we can also use transact SQL or query language to determine uh, how many databases are present in our system and which all databases are there so let's go back to the SQL Server. Um, so uh, let's click on new query. And now in order to view the databases, you can type the following query. So you may also type uh, query along with me if you want to practice it. So we need to start with the select statement and we can specify star to get all the column and the database is a system defined database which is known as sys databases sys dot databases and that's it and uh, we terminate the statement using semicolon so let's put semicolon and uh, hit the f5 key or uh, alternatively you can click on execute button and i've hit the f5 key and i got the list so there are several columns inside it and if I see the first column is the name column where it is first showing me the first four uh, databases are the system databases the fifth one is the Northwind and the fourth one is the test DB and we can also fetch just few fields from um, this table so the important ones are we need the database name and uh, you can also get database ID and we can also take create date and uh, let's execute the statement so it is giving us now three columns and uh, the first one is the name of the databases the second one is showing us the database IDs and the third one is showing us the creation date for that particular database so uh, if we can see that test DB was created uh, one day back because uh, today is uh, 3rd of October and I had created it on 2nd of October so guys uh, I think uh, we are fine here and uh, you have determined how to find the databases using the both the GUI mode and uh, and by using the tsql query dialect and uh, the table uh, which we need to query is the sys databases table which gives you detail on all the databases present on the system um, let's go back to the notes I think we are done here with this video and I thank you for your time uh, guys uh, please do like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon and subscribe to all the updates to get the updates regarding the future videos that I will post and also uh, if you like you can uh, share these uh, videos with your friends so that they can also obtain this knowledge and enhance their knowledge level. Thank you.